Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little video showing you guys the cheapest thing on Dior. So I think I'm going to start like this little series type thing because we all love designer stuff at a fraction of the price and even if it's just to get the box or the bag to display then that is good enough. So today I'm doing Dior but if there's any other designer brands that you would like to see me do and kind of show you guys the cheapest thing and what you get with that then let me know down below but I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. Don't forget to smash the big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get on with the video. So the whole purpose behind this video is just a little bit of fun just to see the cheapest stuff that designer brands sell because we all know that those are expensive um, and I have had a look at other designer brands and let's just say it's not as cheap as this um, for the cheapest item. So yeah I thought I would start with this one. Um, I absolutely love this brand Dior. Um, I don't actually own anything apart from their catwalk book. That's all I own from Dior. I don't own anything. I would love those high top trainers that everyone has, but I think I'll just keep looking at them rather than spending a fortune on them. So this is the box here. It just comes in a brown box. And then when you open it up, it just has Dior and then your kind of like gift wrap. So basically Dior, gift wrap everything um whereas i remember michael kors don't um i learned that the hard way um when i had ordered my mom's handbag and it didn't come gift wrapped and gift wrap wasn't an option so um so underneath we just have all of our details all of our receipts um any returns things and all that mumble jumble you get inside a parcel and um, it just comes like on paper i know some brands like to pop it in envelopes and stuff like this look how stunning this box is i already have actually that's a lie i have a lip gloss from dior i already have a small box um but i would quite like a big box so here we are um i didn't expect it to come in this big box i'm gonna be really annoying and not take out the bow because I want to put the box back together to display it. Um, these types of things are actually really good as well. Like, see if you're wanting the box to display, because they are really pretty. Um, and obviously, <laughs> contents inside usually has to be expensive to get a decent sized box. But when you just take off the lid, it is got tissue and a lovely little Dior sticker. I don't know if you can really see that. So as I said, this is a beauty item here, um, because it was the cheapest. I think the cheapest like non-beauty item was, I feel like it might have been the catwalk book. I know that they do notepads, but I think the notepads or notebook was £60, pounds. Um, not completely sure, but very excited to kind of see, I feel like my hair. It's okay. Um, so when we open it up, inside I have bought cotton pads. <laughs> so the cheapest thing I could find on Dior were these £12 cotton pads. Um, which I'm going to save you with my life, of course. And then with every Dior um, purchase, regardless of how big or small it is obviously, you get a little free sample and they always send in this stunning, stunning little bag. I um, have like that from getting my lip gloss and I remember I got a little miniature face um, moisturiser and a little miniature lip gloss which was really really nice um, but inside of here we just have a few samples of fragrances so basically it automatically gave me two and then I picked two so I've ended up with two of the same um, which is a bit annoying but I have Miss Dior just the normal Miss Dior and then I have two of the new Sauvages 
which they smell really nice like I smelled it in the shop they smell really nice but they don't smell as good as like the OG Sauvage um, in my opinion and then I have the Miss Dior Roses, Rose and Roses which is the taller bottle as the other one is like the smaller bottle so I've got little samples there um, suppose if I want it then I can chuck it on my Christmas list and then obviously that just came in the little grey kind of suede bag but these are the cotton pads here um, just for little preference or um, just to let you guys know I normally just use the 50 pence ones from Primark <laughs> so you can tell I'm going to be guarding these with my life um, to say the least if I can get them open because of course we're going to need to see if they're worth £12 you get 100 in the box and by going with the size of the box the cotton pads are like quite big um, I can get into it at some point today inside oh my god what the hell no way right so we've got a little bit of tissue like it's almost like parchment paper um, I don't know and then that is them here I don't know if you can really see oh they're really soft like they're split up so they're like quite not small like they're a good size I'll take one out so this is it here I can't believe I'm literally showing a cotton pad on my channel like what am I doing um they're just quite like square or rectangular sorry and then I don't know if you can see but like down there it's got like the CD the Christian Dior and then they're like double um like they're really spongy if you know what I mean like they're double double layered like quite thick actually and they're really soft. I might actually take my makeup off tonight with them. And I'll let you guys know what I think of them. Um, I'll maybe like, after I've like edited the video, um, I'll type up a little thing and pop it at the end of the video and like what I think about them. Because they're actually really, really soft, but it'd be quite interesting to see how many go through to take your makeup off. I normally go through maybe like, anything up to I think 10 cotton pads. Um, but as I said, I just use the 50 pence Primark ones, so it'd be quite interesting to see. They do feel really, really soft, and they are like, like, they're lined, like, they've got quite a good thickness to them. Um, I think it's actually hard to show because they're like just cotton pads. But yeah, um, I'm quite chuffed with those. I think um, they'll be quite a nice present for someone as well. Like I know they're just cotton pads, but if you know someone that's like into their skincare or their makeup and you want to go something a little bit more bougie, um, then definitely it's a good call for this. And as I say, it's like you get this stunning box with it as well. Um, and even this packaging is stunning. Yeah, like the box is quite thick and sturdy type thing. Like, I don't know, like they're not just coming in a little pack it like you would maybe get some out of like Primark and Superdog and Boots and stuff like they're in a box which is quite cool and that'd be quite cool like could you imagine like that falls over like sitting on your vanity it's like your micellar water like your Garnier micellar water <laughs> so it was like your Dior cotton pads that would be crazy I'm actually really excited and I completely forgot that like these were for me um I don't know what I thought I was going to do with them after but yeah definitely going to give those a little go tonight and I will type up a little thing on the end of this video because no doubt I'll probably have it edited because I love editing just like straight after filming um, and I'll probably just type up a little thing I might film a little thing but I might just type up a little thing um, and tell you guys how I like them so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video as I said at the start please let me know down below on any other designer brands that you want me to do I have thought about doing like Louis Vuitton um, and Tiffany & Co um, I was going to have a look at things like Prada and stuff I'm not sure how cheap their like cheapest thing is um, and just kind of show you guys little bits and bobs but you
I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Don't forget to smash the big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We're so, so, so close to hitting our goal. Um, and I just want to thank you all so much for that. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.